Hello and welcome. This is the Bad Robin 3D printer. It's a free and open 3D hardware project that I've developed and published over the last year. You can find the hardware documentation, build instructions, a bill of materials and the STL files by following the link to my GitHub repo down in the description of the video. The printer was developed with the focus on simplicity, performance, ruggedness and price. The parts that it's made of are not the cheapest available, but the most common parts that are also used on many other printers. This makes sure that they are readily available almost everywhere. 22 3D printed parts make up its form and no matter which size you may want to build, these 22 parts do not need to change. So if you want to use uh, rails and bars that are longer than the standard 250 millimeters, you can do so at your own wish. You need to elongate the uh, profiles that you're using, but these parts will never have to change. They're always the same. The metal parts used need to be from quality suppliers. The 40 by 40 millimeter item profiles need to have quality cuts with perfect 90 degrees. The MK12 rails and blocks should be smooth running with no play. The TR8 rods should also be machine cut or machine flat at one end. The M6 threaded rods need no special treatment. They just hold the frame together. I buy the 40 by 40 item profiles from a local reseller because if I need something cut a little different, um, I can just reach out to them. And uh, there are a lot of companies which use this profile, so it's really easy to get. Uh, the threaded rods are similar. Um, the TR8 ones I order locally. Um, because quite often, if they're not machined correctly, I can just um, have them send some that are machined or I can take them to a local machine shop and have those made. The rails and blocks, on the other hand, I usually import these from China, uh, mostly from Banggood. They usually cost between 10 to $15 a piece. And these are some of the other components that I quite frequently use. It's the TiVo extruder, it's the EA1 V6 uh, hot end kit. Uh, it's the standard um, inductive probe. It's an NPN, normally open. Steppers from the Long Steppers Motor Company. A turbine fan, 50 millimeters. Oh. Cheap switches um, for controllers. I use these as end switches. They work quite well. And quite often I use a ramps kit with display and controllers. And I do prefer the Allegro controllers over the other ones just because they're a little bit quieter and I've had less problems with them. But, so let's have a look at some of the advantages of the build. First of all, all movement is done over rails and blocks. So given that the quality of the rails and blocks is very high, you will not have any vibration or play in any of the parts that are moving, neither the Y, the X or the Z axis. Also, the carriage that holds the Z axis assembly has a mechanism that prevents vibration from the z-axis rod to go onto the x-axis basically cancelling z-axis wobble and lastly the extruder assembly is extremely light and only features one fan which is responsible for cooling the extruder and also cooling the print the fan is speed controlled by the firmware, uh, sucks in air at the side and expels it over the print at a very high speed. This makes for very efficient cooling of the print and the extruder and it keeps the weight very low. Another big advantage of this construction is that any damage to the extruder, a stepper or any access control can be fixed without taking any other axis apart. 
Same goes for the electronics or for parts of the frame. If any of that should ever get bent or turned, it is very easy to fix that without having to take the whole printer apart. The end price of one of these printers, um, excluding the 3D printed parts, is around $150 to $250, depending on the quality of parts that you order and where you can source them. Uh, these printers that I build with the parts that I buy, buy mostly from Amazon and eBay, with the exception of the rails and blocks that I order from China, um, the end price is around $250 which is pretty good. The, quint qu the print quality is um, very good compared to other printers that I have. Um, I mostly use this printer with 0.3 millimeter nozzles and um, print speed and qu print quality with PLA is very good. Um, I do not use ABS or other materials because this printer does not come with a uh, heated print bed, but this can be added. Uh, the port on the controller is still available. And I've also uh, been working on a two color version, um, but that is still well work in progress, I would call it. So I just wanted to take the time to present this a bit. And uh, thank you very much for watching.